There's people that exercise seven hours a day, you know, every single day, two hours a day, seven days a week, and lose absolutely zero weight. There are people out like that, and there's probably someone right in the room today. So this whole philosophy of losing weight when you exercise is, um, is may or may not be true. So today we're going to get into behind the scenes. Uh, also, how do you explain the variables? You ever have the skinny guy that, you ever hear that when you eat less, you lose weight? Less calories in, right? Less calories in? Right. In fact, if we take um, a very thick book, it's a medical book, it says the cause of obesity is consuming more calories than our burn. You ever hear that? How do you explain the skinny guy that can eat anything he wants and he doesn't even... Yeah. Metabolism. Your metabolism. Your metabolism is controlled by hormones. That's what I want to get into, hormones. However, I had um, a lady came to my seminar. She says, I uh, had all my hormones removed. So <laughs> how, you have 600 hormones in your body. 600. We're going to cover each one of them. And I want you to take notes on all these hormones. But the six fat burning hormones, and you have three fat making hormones. But just to clear it up, to make it really simple, let's talk about what a hormone is. I need a volunteer. All right. Okay, oh. you're going to be the thyroid. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and you will be the cell. Okay, good. All right, thyroid, say hello to the cell. Where are you? Oh, you're hello, right. cell. Hi, thyroid. <laughs> Very well done. So the communications are sent, they get received, and they get sent back up here. So hormones always travel in a two-way flow. So when you send the communication, you need someone listening to you. How many find in life you need someone to listen to you when, they, when you talk to them? Mm -hmm. Have you ever talked to someone they didn't listen to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's genetic in men? No. Okay. So, so when this gets blocked, you have all sorts of issues that occur, specifically excessive Potential energy. What's another name of potential energy? I know you saw my video probably ten times. Fat. Fat. Very good. So now you can just say, I'm not overweight. I just have excessive potential energy. It just sounds a lot better. <laughs> sounds better. You're not really fat. You have PE, potential energy. To get this out requires that you understand how hormones work in the release of how energy is... is um, transmitted out. Um, so this whole philosophy of cutting the calorie and then waiting for it to be burned off, you don't actually exercise, for example, does not melt fat off. In fact, exercise really does no good to your body whatsoever unless you can recover from it, which we're going to get into. But exercise in itself is a stress. It's a controlled injury. It's all about if you can recover from that. But let's just first talk about the thyroid body type, and that would be this shape right here. Have you ever seen anyone like that shape before? Mm -hmm. Brother, sister, cousin, mother. mother. Okay, that would be thyroid. It's waking all over, not in any one location. The first problem with the thyroid would be the person gets depression. So look at me very depressed. You're smiling. Okay. Depression, feeling low, down, apathetic, that would be a thyroid problem. So the hormones can actually put you in a lower state. So we have thyroid, also loss of hair. Anyone know anyone with hair loss? Okay. Um, could be thyroid, could be other things. Loss of eyebrows on the outside here first. Right there. Um, loss, uh, loss of collagen in your skin, specifically underneath here and right here. You ever meet anyone like that? Like a friend, a neighbor, a co coworker? Also, the nail, vertical ridges in your nail, up and down ridges. Those are really good ridges. Let me call 911. No. <laughs> so you have ridges. You can tell a lot about a person by their nail. If the, if the ridges go horizontal, that would be a different problem. Up and down thyroid, horizontal, more um, immune system issues. If you have that little white speck, that is a zinc deficiency. But it's not really a zinc deficiency. It's a time where you ate some carbohydrate that pulled the zinc out. So if, if, the, if you have it right in the center, we know about three months ago you had a birthday party and you ate the whole cake. So, because carbohydrate pulls zinc out. 
you know, it's interesting, vitamins, you know, I know if you, some of you take vitamins and maybe you have a, you don't really feel any change with them. With thyroid, you won't feel any change with vitamins. What's the first vitamin ever discovered? A. You already knew the answer. A, good. What's the second vitamin ever discovered? B. B. <laughs> Sorry. And the third one? C. And the fourth? D. And the fifth? E. Very good. Okay, I just want to see if you guys uh, could. Read the book. Yes, right. That's right. So we have the inability to absorb vitamins. One of the deficiencies, so let's take vitamin A, are those little, um, like little um, bumps on the back of the arm right here or in the lower leg. And um, that's a vitamin A deficiency. But you might say, well, I'm eating carrots, right? I'm getting enough. Well, what happens, vitamin A doesn't get absorbed unless the hormones are working. And there's other factors too, like you might need omega-3, like flax oil to absorb vitamin A. So it could be a couple things. But thyroid, you won't be able to absorb vitamins too well. You're taking all these things, very expensive urine, it goes right through you. Yeah. So that would be vitamins. Thyroid uh, case will tend to crave sweets, um, carbohydrates and starches. They like sourdough bread out of the oven for some reason. They like the texture and the flavor and the smell. You like that? Okay. So they like um, carbohydrates. I have people that come in, they're, they're like 90 and they look very, very vibrant and healthy and they look very slim. So don't go in agreement with the whole age thing. Um, it's overrated. I have people in their 30s that don't do, they look pretty old. Um, you ever been to your high school reunion? <laughs> okay, you ever see someone like, look, they look like the teacher and then you're like, oh, you were my classmate. So that's just the, that's just the, the hormones going down too fast. So that would be thyroid body type, okay? Got that? Now, next one. Next one is extremely interesting, very common. It's a problem with the adrenal gland. Adrenal. Adrenal means add on top of kidney, so the adrenals are right there, deep down the side here. Thyroid's like right here, adrenals are down here. You have two of them. They are the stress gland of the body. Now, how many have ever experienced stress before? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. How do people, give me an example of what stresses you out. Kids. Kids. Mm -hmm. Family. Yes, family. Presentations. Presentations. Mm -hmm. Anyone have a fear of public speaking? Yeah. Could come up here right now. No. Boom, 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 boom. So yes. What else? Uh, um, emergencies. emergencies. Cops coming up behind. You. Please. <laughs> cops coming up behind. Those little flashing lights. <laughs> By the way, I'm actually um, my next video. I'm going to put if you're on my email tip is actually uh, I talk about how to get out of a speeding ticket. So I'll show you if you watch the next video. Not that I'm recommending that, giving you legal counsel, but. <clears throat> Anyway, what else stresses you out? Family. Family, yes. Yes. Malnutrition. Malnutrition, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Men. Men. Bills. Finance. <laughs> Finance and bills. Bills. You don't like bills. Women. Women. What else stresses people out nowadays? Work. Work, good. Vacation. Vacation. <laughs> vacation. Yeah, vacation is stressful. Sitting out there doing nothing. Wall Street. Economy, right? So here's what you do in the economy. Just as someone says anything about the economy, just say, I'm not participating. That's what you say. So basically, you have all the stress. Physical stress, infection, mental stress. It all reacts the same on the adrenals. The adrenals don't know the difference between getting hit with a car crossing the street and uh, a loss of a loved one. It's the same reaction to the adrenals. So the adrenals react to stress and get, the adrenals are there to help you cope with all stresses. As the adrenals go downhill, your tolerance for crazy people, I mean stress, <laughs> goes down. Little things bug you. You're irritable. People get on your nerves. How many fun are people getting on your nerves recently? Okay. 